Hello everyone and welcome to the final battle of round 1, Battle of the Beast New Generation episode number 26. This is the last battle of round 1, I am honestly really glad to be able to get all these battles done. Uh, that way we can get straight into round 2, but obviously after a little break for myself. Because um, I need breaks. <laughs> um, here we got two fan favourite beasts here for the last fan matchup of this tournament. And um and this came to no this comes to no surprise for me or Lucas that this one was gonna be the last battle round one. Because these beasts are brilliant. Um so we'll start off with um Zirkin, the shape stealer. Not the shapeshifter, like I said in the new generation announcement video, shape stealer. Um so Zirkin at the moment ha uh as a series has one out of three beasts into round two, that being Crotax. Um, because Quirzo lost to Sawara and Torka lost to Jurog. Whilst Crotax was able to beat his victim, which I do not remember who it was. Um, it was probably Diprox, I think. Um, but yeah, Zirkin's the, uh, Last chance to get more than one beast into from series 23 into round two. Uh, on the other hand, though, we got series 24's very own Crocol, the father of fear. Uh, this um, this series as a whole has two out of three of their beasts already through to round two. That would be uh, Fluga and Morax. As uh, Fluga was able to kill Rykar, Morax was able to kill Krytor, but Electro was killed by Strytor. Uh, which um, which kind of sucks, really, But because um, Series 24, I would have loved to see the entire series make it. I really would. Lucas, Impus, give me the best damn sp stats you ever gave stats for. <laughs> Exocomp, the shape stealer. When Tom and Eleanor first encounter Exocon, he's impersonating Angelo, Avanti is new king, but the shapeshifter soon reveals his true form, skin as grey as a corpse, and a round, wart covered head with pointed ears. Questers may wound Exocon, drawing oily black blood, but the beast has the power to heal himself. His awesome abilities include shapeshifting, sharp claws, high intelligence, agility, healing wounds, thick hide and spikes on arms and forehead. So be warned, Questers and beasts. For this opponent is very intelligent. Croco, the father of fear. This beast posed to be the biggest threat Avantia ever faced. For Croco merged with Tom to wreak havoc, turning the kingdom's most honorable hero into a hulking warrior bent on destruction. Battling this beast took Tom into a spiritual realm from which there was almost no return. Crocal's abilities include destroying kingdoms, tough armor, shoot gun from his hands, protecting from projectiles, and sharp claws. He will prove to be one effective opponent in the tournament. Three, two, one! Zirkin versus Crocol. Let's get into this. So this battle I want to make brilliant because these beasts deserve it. But okay, let's get into this. As both beasts ex exit from their chambers, Zirkin uh, is just quietly stalking out, uh, looking around for his victim, uh, and he sees a bunch. He hears a bunch of bunch of thumps just protruding their way out of. Um, the opposite chamber and Crocol bursts outwards. His fist hits the ground, causing the ground to shake. Zirkin almost loses balance, but then sees Crocol charging towards him. And uh, what Zirkin does is that he um, jumps out of the way and grabs onto the wall where Crocol just sees him and is now jumping up to reach up towards him. However, Zirkin is just out of reach. However, Crocol shoots a black goo from his hands, which ensnares Zirkin and traps him against the wall. Uh, which traps Zirkin against the wall. Zirkin tries to use his claws to sh uh, cut outwards, cut away from the goo. However, it's working, but really slow as it's really thick goo. Crocol laughs, realizing that huh, 
Zerkin's traps now. Using his fist, he punches through that wall and the wall starts tumbling down Zer with Zerkin on it. Uh, Zerkin prepares for impacts, um, trying to slice through it. He slices through it, but it's too late and he gets crushed by the rubble. Uh, Krokor takes a step back, uh, realizing that. Uh, Krokor takes a step back, realizing that he's probably won already within the first five minutes of the video. And Zerkin just bursts out, just crawls out of it, um, covered in bruises, but the bruises quickly begin to fade. Krokor realizes that Zerkin's probably using witchcraft against him. But no, Zerkin can just heal really quickly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Krokol then slams both fists into the ground, one after the other, repeatedly, causing the ground to shake violently. Zerkin digs his claws into the ground so then he has a firm grip. And he uh, charges up towards Krokol whilst Krokol is getting ready to punch Zerkin uh, back. Uh, just getting ready to punch. However, Zerkin stops at the last minute and jumps over the fist, scratching at one of Krokol's eyes. However, Krokol fights back by hitting Zerkin straight in the chest, knocking Zerkin backwards. Uh, Krokol then reels back from the pain with losing his eye and shoots a goo straight towards Zerkin, which traps him against the floor this time. Zerkin tries to slice outwards and Krokol makes his way up towards him. Obviously a bit um, a rather slow though, as he knows that Zerkin can't get away. And... Um, then, bringing up both his fists, he's ready to bring it down, bring them down on top of Zerkin. However, Zerkin, being as perseverance, persevered as he is, is able to slice right through the goo and roll out, out of it just before Krokol bangs his fist against the ground. Using that to his advantage, Zerkin just slices at both of Krokol's wrists, causing Zerko, Krokol to roar in pain, and then just um, uh, kick Zerkin out of the way not rolling him against the ground. Zerkin gets back up, only to be greeted by a fist parent punching straight towards him, knocking Zerkin against the wall. And when he gets back up, he's greeted by another fist from Krokol uh, that hits Zerkin square in the chest that knocks his body against the wall of the arena, causing cracks to appear and the wall crumbling, crumbling down on top of both of them. Zerkin, realising he may not get another chance like this again, he... Uh, Ducks underneath Krokol for Krokol to take the hit of the wall, which he does. And then uh, as Krokol bursts outwards, Zerkin then pops out and scratches out Krokol's other eye. Krokol is now covering both eyes, roaring in pain. And Zerkin uses his claws again to cut at the uh, palms and the backs of uh, Krokol's hands. Krokol shoots out a goo going towards the air. And it covers the entire arena with goo. Uh, Zerkin's able to dodge it by ducking under um, Krokol. However, Krokol realises that. And um, swoops his arm underneath him. Knocking Zerkin out from underneath. And causing him to roll over the sticky goo. Covering him completely in it. He's able to get up though. However, the first step he takes. He steps into the sticky goo. He tries to move his feet. But he can't. And then Krokol uh, then starts banging on the ground frantically, causing the ground to shake, and he senses where Zerkin is. And what Krokol do does now is that he shoots um, the uh, um, the his goo his goo from his hands out at the wall be uh, behind Zerkin, because Zerkin's quite close to the wall. And uh, I hope Lucas gets this reference because. Um, I would. And he pulls the goo, which is connected to the wall, away from the wall towards himself, which pulls the wall downwards. Uh, Zerkin looks up to see the wall crum crumbling down on him. And realising he can't do anything to defend himself from it, he braces for the pain and, it, and the wall crushes him down. However, uh, when Krokol comes up uh, towards where he heard the thud, he uh, tries to look where he tries to feel where the um, ground might shake, just in case Zerkin might still be alive. He feels it. He breaks right through that wall and finds Zerkin. He picks him up and chucks him down to the ground uh, in front of him, 
in which he lifts up both his fists and brings it down directly on Zirkin's body, crushing his uh, internal organs and such. And uh, moving his head slightly up his body, he lifts his fist and smashes him directly in the head, shattering his skull. Zirkin's body then goes limp, and Krokol, realising he must have won, goes back to his chamber in victory. With that, Krokol has won, and Zirkin has lost. If you think Zirkin should have won, please in the comments below why you think that. But Krokol is the beast going through to round two. Now, with this fight, um, it was pretty much brains versus brawn. And even though I normally say brains would win, uh, I gave the victory to Braun for the simple reason, even though Zirkin is very clever, um, and he can get sly hits of Krokol, which can cause lasting effects, and he can heal himself from wounds rather quickly. If Krokol is able to um, seriously injure Zirkin, then continue hitting him multiple times afterwards... There's no way Zirkin should be able to heal himself that quickly and then have his skull shattered. There's just no way he was ever going to win. Um, but I will say Zirkin gave a valiant attempt, blinding Krokol and uh, slitting his wrists as well as um, his hands as well. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough and Krokol is through to round two, leaving only Krotax of Series 23 left in the tournament. Was Series 24 has three beasts remaining. But we'll find out how many beasts and what beasts are remaining later. But in another video. But with that being said, that's all for this time. If you enjoyed round one, please comment below that you did and say and tell me how much you're looking forward to round two. Hashtag justice for Grimon. Yeah. Until then, peace out.